Tunes, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to learn about three things that we learnt from Everton v Southampton. Yes, but first of all, we didn't go to the match on Saturday. We didn't. Which was a bit of a bummer. Traumatic. It was traumatic, especially since we got our first away win. Boo. Um, but yay! I was at a wedding and Sam was... Just done that. At home. At home. Um, but yeah, we missed a really good game. Um, Southampton, were, you know, they had they are poor anyway at the moment. Um, but that doesn't um, understatement. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't take away that we got our away win, etc. That we needed. Hopefully, the first of many this season. So we should have put the game to bed first half. Um, we go, had go bedy bows. Yeah, loads. <laughs> um, we should have definitely put it up to bed first half. We had um, loads of really good chances. Um, Tom Davis put his, you know, stepped up, done that little header in the first five minutes. No one was marking him. He just took his chance, slotted it in. It was well chuffed for him. Well made up for him that he actually got that first goal of the season. He's not. A, I think that's his first goal in about five hundred days. I don't know. All those chances that we missed. All those chances that we missed in the first half. Um, yes. Southampton. When in a half time, had a little bit of a me, 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 me. Um, and that as confidence. In the first 15 minutes of the second half, uh, they scored. They did. They battered us. Danny Ings, former Liverpool player. We knew he would score against us. Definitely. Did you know? Yes. He scored the first. Did he you? scored. I did, honestly. He scored that goal. I was fuming. He was listening on the radio. And I said to your dad, I said, There you go. There he is, he's going to score his hat-trick against us. Proper fuming. <laughs> um, but yes, but he didn't. We, um, Everton showed some grit. We uh, dug our heels in um, and we edged up and ended up getting that second goal off Richie, who had quite a good game, managed didn't to... Didn't slip up. Yeah, didn't slip up, managed to stay on his feet a little bit more than usual, mm -hmm. which was nice. And do you know what? It, it paid like divi dividends. He bloody got that. Sorry, didn't mean to swear. He had played dividends. He got that goal in the 77th minute and got us the win. It was a win that we needed. Um, international break now. So two weeks rest for some of them, two weeks not for some of them. So what we're going to do now though is what? Talk about three things we learned from Everton against Southampton. Yes. So first thing that we learned... This weekend was Tom Davies is an absolute legend. Absolute legend. Legend. Yes. He was amazing. He you know, since he's had his, his first start in um, the season against West Ham, etc. He is dominating in that midfield. He's got some really good plays, making that really good link. He is literally dominating that midfield, more or less single handedly. Is that a bit over the top? Uh, yeah, Might maybe be a little it's, bit over the top. But he's doing really well. Single-footedly. <laughs> Single-footedly. Ha ha. He, you know, he wants to turn. He wants to pass that to get those forward balls in, and you know, and he wants to move with that ball. And so the first thing that we learned, which we most probably already knew, was Tom Davies is an absolute legend. Number two is we are still. Far too wasteful with the quality and the quantity of the chances that we create. We are rubbish. We can't finish them off. We clearly a problem that needs to be addressed sooner rather than later. Cheng started for us because he had that equaliser against Tottenham last week, which was great. So he started. But even though we had the chances against... Am I keeping you awake? Even though he had the chances against Southampton... He just didn't have the quality to finish them. So, clearly, we need to do something about it. We need to find out who is going to play up front for us so we can actually get the goals that we need to actually move up the table and to actually, you know, win some games more often than not. So that's number two. We're still wasteful. We're still not doing anything about it. Da-da. Da-da. Number three is the blossoming relationship between Mina and Mason Holgate. That relationship is really starting to strengthen and it's what we need. But 
a lot of, still, a lot of Everton fans, they still don't think that Mason Holgate is good enough to play for Everton. Which, he clearly is. He is, definitely. He's getting there, but he needs the time. He needs the time to play. He needs the support from us he's as not fans. Getting, he's not getting enough experience. He needs the experience, that's right. And the only way he's going to get that experience is by playing. He, last last season, he, he went out on loan to West Brom, and he has clearly had some sort of positive impact because you know what he has come back to us and he is a better player but we need to give him time we need to give both of them time to blossom and to develop and to be that defensive force that we need which we've clearly lacked in years and seasons gone so let's embrace that relationship give them the love Spread the positivity. Spread the positivity. Cool vibes. <laughs> so yes, that's the third thing we, we've actually learned is that Mason Holgate and Gerald Mina, Jerry Mina, is um, their relationship. Gerald. Gerald. Gerald um, Mina. Is developing and um, it needs time to develop more to actually make it the force that we need defensively. So... That's what we've learned from Everton v Southampton. Um, our next game is obviously we've got the international break. So the next game we have is um, Norwich at home. Goodison. Oh, yes, it yeah. is. It's like two weeks' time. Two weeks. Two weeks' time, yeah. And a lot can happen in we're two gonna, weeks. We're going to find a way to upload something in them two weeks. Definitely. Sam's threatening to get FIFA. Yeah. And he's going to teach me how to play FIFA. I'll be an experience. Yeah. So of a lifetime. Mm, mm. So yes, next video will be match day vlog. No, it won't. It will. We'll do. We'll do something in between the two weeks. We'll try. But the next vlog will be at Goodison against yes. Norwich, which is a three points that we desperately need going into the busy festive period where we've got. Um, God, oh, we've got, uh, oh. Leicester. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not keeping you. We've got yeah, that's literally how we're going to feel become come the second week in January. We are going to be shattered from all the travelling to the away matches. So we've got Leicester, yes. we've got um, Man United, we've got Liverpool, we've got Arsenal, loads. Newcastle, Newcastle, we've got Newcastle, um, in between Christmas and New Year, and obviously they're having a cracking run at the minute, which is not what we need just after Christmas. Anyways, that was our three things that we learned from Everton v Southampton.